I'm Lucy Franz. Hi, I'm Lucy Staniforth. And we're the two Lucy's. <laughs> Name all the items in the 12 days of Christmas. Oh, in the song? Yeah, I guess so, the 12. A turtle dove in it. Partridge in a pear tree. Geese are laying. You've got one on. Golden rings? Yeah. yeah. Five golden rings, four turtle doves, three French hens, two. And a pear tree. What's, what's ten? Nine something knocking. <laughs> Eight bells are ringing. Seven. Lords are leaping. Yeah. Six geese are Ladies laying. dancing. Six ladies dancing. Five gold. But I don't know what the twelve. I think I've named ten but not in the right order. Oh. There's, yeah, it's like people. What? It's not like a gold ring or a bird or anything. The, the last two are. Oh no, actually, we've got a couple wrong maybe. Drummers, drummers. Oh, yeah, we didn't get that one. Piper's Piper. No, we didn't get that one. And Maid's Milk. Yeah, I didn't Is that right? That. I know the Maid's That's hard. Simple, but that is hard, though. Maybe I should have sung it to myself, but I didn't want to sing. <laughs> this is easier. What date should you put up your Christmas tree? Well, if we're talking this year, whenever you want. Because <laughs> you've got loads of free time. Yeah. Clearly, on my street, everyone puts the decorations up at the minute. I feel like December, once it hits December. Yeah. I think that's acceptable, but this year anything goes, I think. Yeah. You could probably have them up in January if you wanted. Who cares? <laughs> Positive vibes. No. There's a house around the corner from me that's gone like OTT with Christmas lights as well. You know, you're just like. There's one round from us and they've got a bloke Santa and a bloke somewhere else, but then like really skinny, like little reindeer lights that are really yeah. petite, but then a really like old wooden Santa hanging out the window. It's like all the different. It's like. Tacky, Different eras. Modern, they've just collected them all through, through, yeah. And they've just put all of them out at the same time. I put lights in my bush outside. <laughs> <laughs> Little fairy lights. <laughs> they look really good. <laughs> What's your best childhood Christmas memory? Oh, we spent a lot of Christmases in Portugal. What's and different in Portugal? With it's Christmas? just a bit warmer. No, but my mum always tells a story because me and my brother were, must have been under 10 years old and my nan in Portugal bought us rollerblades which is sick because yeah. we was like in Lisbon so we weren't rollerblading like, on like the marble floor but then my mum had to pack them to bring them home. Obviously we was dead happy like oh yeah we've got these rollerblades and she was thinking for god's sake I've got to pack these in the suitcase and let them fit <laughs> but I didn't know that at the time she would told me it now. I feel like your family wouldn't I wouldn't put it past them wearing rollerblades on an aeroplane. <laughs> 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 your dad especially. <laughs> but it's your Perfect Christmas dinner. Oh, my mum's. She does the best one. Just the standard. You yeah. know, Kira has an Indian on Christmas day. Family goes out for curry. Yeah. I would say turkey, pigs in blankets, is that what they're called? Homemade roast potatoes, like big, fluffy, but crispy on the crispy. outside. Huge Yorkshire pud. I always like roasted veg. I hate when people put like peas, sweet corn. You know, like that naff veg. Uh, veg <laughs> just needs to like it needs to bring something to the table. You just got to throw like loads of stuff yeah. in, don't you? But my mum like made a, a nut roast. Oh, That's what it's you. called. Should have seen my dad's face. <laughs> <laughs> Fuming. <laughs> yeah. Not happy. What's your go-to Christmas karaoke song? <laughs> um, George Michael. Such a bad singer. <laughs> George Michael. Last Christmas. Last Christmas. Are you gonna give us a no. few notes? No. That is actually one of my, I did like George Michael. You do like George Michael, don't yeah. you? Because we used whisper. to listen to Careless Whisper together. <laughs> ah, would you would you rather wake up to Wham, oh, it's Wham's last Christmas. Oh, Not George yeah, Michael. but. Would you rather wake up to Wham's last Christmas every day or never hear Christmas music again? I, I think I would take listening to it every, every day. day. Yeah, I do love Christmas. I feel like that's an easy song to listen to yeah, every day. Yeah, it's not, it's, it's not offensive, is it? And it's not mad like jingle, jingly bells yeah. and stuff like that. Who would you want to have in Secret Santa? And maybe we can organise it later on in the week. There was someone who wanted something. Who wanted something? Oh, Esme, yeah. Because Esme's just passed her driving test. So she's got a car who is called... 
Pa Pablo? <sighs> Pedro? The Punto. Yeah. But it's like a really old car, so it's got a cassette. Oh my god. Thing in it. So you get her a cassette tape. <laughs> get her all like sick cassette yeah, tapes. Yeah, Because of how are you meant to find them now? That's not me. I know. Who's your secret it? Santa? Well, Millie Turner, I know what she'd want, so she'd be quite a good one. She wants like a drone that you like. Yeah, I'm but she about ten, also, ten pound secret Santa. No, apparently it must be this cheap because she's actually bought someone it on camp. Yeah, you she was like, I really want a drone, and then bought it for, for whoever she's given it to. I'm guessing. And then in the case hope they that someone's it. like, oh, you just keep <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> or she'd be like, oh, I'll pick that one out. Oh, yeah. oh. Best Christmas present you have ever received. Do you know, I asked for her Christmas once. What? My mum was like, the only time I ever wrote a Christmas list, I put a skateboard, a cowboy hat and a whistle. <laughs> my mum was like, you were so... My bro, George was putting, a, I want PlayStation, yeah. I want Xbox, I want new FIFA, I want this, I want new Nike boots, and I put like a whistle and wonder, a cowboy hat. I wonder what inspired these Christmas gifts. God, <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, you were a bit weird when you were younger. <laughs> You're so cool. You got all sorts of Christmas when we were younger. Wow. You got everything you wanted, you were spoiled. No, <laughs> I was not spoiled. This used to come round and like, knock on my door and I've got football boots, these trainers, this boots, these other boots, this da, 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 and I'd be like, oh, I've just got one pair of trainers. <laughs> what a sob story. <laughs> in what year did Christmas Day and New Year's Day fall in the same year? Fall in the same year? What? In what year did Christmas Day and New Year's Day fall in the same year? Is that a trick question? It's a leap year or something. Are we being really stupid? But it's New Year's Day, so it's the start of a new year, so yeah. how is it going to be in the same year? Oh Not no, it's every year. Because you start the new year and Christmas is there, isn't it? Oh, yeah, well. we're thinking of it. <laughs> Who's the biggest Grinch in the England squad? I feel like people might say me. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you were saying, thinking? Well, no, I wasn't thinking you exactly, but my mum actually calls me the Grinch, you know. I was like, oh, I was watching the Grinch the other day, like last week. She was going, oh, yeah, Grinchy, that is you. <laughs> you know, she does like weird nicknames. Can you name all nine of Santa's reindeers? Rudolph. Blitzen. Yeah. Donald. Right, yeah. Dasher. Prancer. Prancer. Prancer and Prancer. Prancer. Fixer. <laughs> Cupid and Comet. Oh, right, yeah. I really just like almost had word vomit now. Do you believe in Santa? Yeah. Did you ever try and see him when you were younger? Yeah. Oh, you, that used to like the anticipation of going to bed was like intense, wasn't it? Yeah, the house that we had before moved up the house to the same street as you, we had the house that the staircase went like that and then this side had a window, like a ledge, that had curtains. Oh. So I'd go and sit in the <laughs> curtains and shut the curtains to make sure everyone would go past me up the stairs and then try and see what I think I would fall asleep, it would be too like. Did you ever see him? No, yeah, too long. I feel like I want to and put stuff in my stocking. Worst Christmas present you have ever received? Oh. <laughs> You know my auntie? Yeah. And she used to just buy like loads of stuff from like <laughs> band lab and stuff. And it got like a Lynx boys body <laughs> set. <laughs> oh, we used to have some rare <laughs> presents from her. And you know when you open it and you're like, oh, oh thanks. thank you. <laughs> I've always wanted um, a yo-yo. <laughs> <laughs> You're like 25. Yeah. Actually, I wouldn't mind a yo It's still a decent <laughs> present, but I, honestly, I remember and it was always so painful when her, she'd be like, oh, here's the present. And you'd be like, oh, here we go again. <laughs> it's so true, isn't it? 